removing a node from a binary search tree is slightly more complicated than inserting one. We saw in the previous video that the only interesting part of node insertion is figuring out where to perform the insertion. We can do this with a recursive algorithm that either inserts the node here, for some definition of here, or else it calls itself recursively on the left or the right subtree. Once nodes are in place, we can look them up by recursively descending through subtrees, based on whether the node we're looking for can be seen as less than or greater than the current node. Removing a node is going to build on this lookup algorithm by doing some work after we find our node. How much work will depend on the topology of the node we need to remove. In order to remove a node, we first have to find it. In a binary search tree, we can do this by recursive descent, just like a normal search operation. Just like searching, the base case for our recursion will be when we reach a node that doesn't exist. If our recursive descent through the search tree is hit a dead end, a tree must not have the node we're looking for, so we're done. Question, why don't we need to look elsewhere in the tree? Use a couple of examples to convince yourself. If the value we're looking for is less than the current node's value, we can recurse down through the left subtree. If it's greater, we recurse down through the right subtree, although we actually test whether the node's element is less than the value so that we only need the one comparator. If none of the above are true, that is, we have a non-null node whose element is neither less than nor greater than the value we're looking for, then we have found the node to remove. We now have to consider a couple of cases. The most complicated of these is when we want to remove a node that has two children. We can't just add these children to the parent node, then there'd be a node with three children, so it wouldn't be a binary tree anymore. This is a slightly special case, so actually we're gonna come back to it. If the node to remove doesn't have two children, then it must have either zero children or one child. If it has zero children, that's easy. We can just remove the node. If it has one child, that's also pretty easy. We can update the pointer to this node to point at the child instead, skipping over the current node just like we would in a linked list. In fact, we can handle these two cases, either zero children or one child, using the same code. We update the pointer to the current node to take the value instead of one of the current node's child pointers. That new value may point at a real node, or it may be null, but either way, the current node pointer has been updated correctly. If you don't see how that's the case, take this code and try to work through what it does with a couple of pen and paper examples. Remember that we're using smart pointers here, so we don't need to explicitly delete the node being removed. Changing the pointer will take care of that for us. Also, note that the ternary if operator has come back to haunt us. Now would be a good time to pause the video and check your comprehension by explaining this partial method implementation to someone else, even if that someone is just imaginary. Believe it or not, explaining things to people, even imaginary people, is a great way to test your understanding of all the finicky details. Go ahead and do that now. Now that you've explained this straightforward stuff to someone, let's come back to that special case, removing a node with two children. We can't just change the current node pointer to point at one of the children without discarding the other one. So what can we do? One simple answer is to replace the current node with a node from one of its two subtrees. But how can we choose a node to replace the current node that preserves the search property? What node could we choose that wants to keep all of the left subtree on its left and all of the right subtree on its right? The answer is either the maximum value in the left subtree or the minimum value in the right subtree. If we simply move that node's value into the current node, we will remove the current node's value while maintaining our binary search tree invariance. We do need to make sure that we tidy up the old node whose value we are stealing. So that's how to remove a node from a binary search tree, whether that node has zero, one, or two children. We'll practice implementing this algorithm in our class time together.